I don't know who owns land on either side of this, but there's your no trespassing sign. And out here, now in, in cities, you, you don't really want to fuck with no trespassing uh, posts because people have dogs that will fuck you up pretty badly. And um, if it's even remotely dark outside, they can shoot you. What it really comes down to. Out here, you are so far from nothing that if you know you stumble onto somebody's ranch and it's posted that you can't be there, um, they ain't ever gonna find your body, man. I mean, that's all it really comes down to. And and I'm not saying that the ranchers are gonna shoot you for being on their property, especially if you're just kind of tooling along. But uh. I am saying I don't want to find out, <laughs> you know? There's an old ass wall for something. And there's somebody's house. I'd love to have a hunk of property like this. It's probably 700, 800 acres worth of land out here. Uh, I've been looking at it on like Google Earth and whatnot, and it's a pretty big chunk of nothing. And there's only a couple of these little roads uh, that lead back to houses, so you can tell that at least a couple of these property owners own a huge chunk of land. And there's not a whole lot of fences either. But, uh... If only I could afford property like that, you know? Get me a dirt bike and a four-wheeler. Go have a blast. Ah, not first gear. First gear on this bike's a little too high. <laughs> for this yeah somebody's been doing something to this I remember coming through here at like five miles an hour banging across giant fucking rocks and shit just like just riding through a damn field only it was white instead of green but that was at least a year ago that I came down here maybe two I really don't remember. Um, I come out into this area every now and then because none of the roads out here are smooth enough for you to, to really have fun on, you know, if, if you're trying to haul ass and all that. And there's a lot of random ass chunks of gravel on the roads and I mean you're in the middle of all the ranches so they're not really smooth. But uh, I passed a bunch of Harleys and metrics a little while ago and uh, they're just chugging along you know and, and there's some really good uh, or really cool scenery and a couple of waterfalls back here that are currently dry because well the weather's goddamn dry and it's just kind of a cool area to cruise through and enjoy it you know it's only about 90 degrees out here today so it's nice and cool and Labor Day weekend you know Get out and enjoy yourself a little bit. Just kind of chug along and check out the scenery. And of course down here there's uh, not much scenery. Every now and then you come around a corner and and you'll be looking over the edge of a valley or something. Yeah, this is where you gotta finesse it a little bit. <laughs> there we go. And this bike is not weighted properly for taking corners and gravel like that. Uh, and I also believe that this is the uh, same sort of road that we had to turn around for in the Ozarks a couple of times. Um, Billy and, and Tracy were riding two up, so I didn't really want to make them do it. But pretty much anybody on a sport bike should be able to, really should be able to ride this kind of a road. Uh, and I don't think that there were any like mountain goat roads where we were trying to go. Ah, uh, I remember this part. I was told by a local, see there's the one part of an old bridge of some sort. I was told by a local that this is almost always underwater. And so it gets really, really, really slick. And you can see it. I and mean, there's algae and shit all over that bitch. So you go real easy. And that's getting kind of deep. But since the water is constantly covering that, uh, 
there's algae on the bridge and it's a really easy way to bust your ass and this uh this local on it in his truck come through and he told me about that bridge and he's like dude i don't think you'll be able to do it and i was like eh i'll, I'll check it out and uh turn around and come back if nothing else and he's like all right and then i saw him turning around so i sat there for a second he pulled up and he goes man fuck it <laughs> i'm gonna follow you over there because if you can do this shit i want to watch i was like all right cool and uh he followed me over there and followed me through and he's like dude that's that's balls right there and i was like nah i don't think so it's just know what you're doing you know it's not necessarily skill uh just know what you're doing and take your time and you'll be okay all the half dead cactus but uh yeah the rest of it's paved there's not really a whole lot up there so i'm gonna turn around go back down to that water find some fast moving water and uh cool off a little bit i ain't gonna swim or anything but get a little wet